Hi! <laughs> Hi! We're gonna do a quick video on ruck today. Um, I just wanted to show my technique on how I get ruck really comfortable. It took me a long time to get ruck to a point where I actually really liked it. So I wanted to share with you guys what I do now. Um, I'm using a really long round for this. I'm using a size seven just so I can show you that you can do it with whatever you have if you only have your base size. Hi. Like base plus one. Hi. Um, you can still just ruck for a quick up. So Hi. Um, and I start with the middle marker and put it in the middle of her back. Hi. You said I could wrap you. You have your bag? You got it? Okay, ready? Are you gonna hit me in the head with it? Okay, so I superman her onto my back. My, my and I'll get it out, hang on. Okay, and then first thing I like to do is make sure I don't have a bunch of um, extra fabric up at the base of her neck. So see, here I only have a little bit to make her seat with. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna grab out here and then I'm gonna pull down. So it gets smooth on her back and then the top rail just goes to the base of the neck. And then now I'm gonna make her seat. And so I'm going to pin under my chin, and when I reach back to make her seat, I like to go under the legs and right behind the knees, and I kind of gather the fabric in my hand, and then I pull up a little bit to make her seat. And I don't like it to be super deep in rug, because then I just feel like it makes her legs all weird, so I kind of bunch it as I'm making it. And so I'm just going to gather this one side all the way up on my shoulder. Mom. Um, and then I'm going to really focus on tightening this side. And I always like to sandwich my rail, sandwich my rails in rock. So I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to pull it under to meet the top toward my neck. And then I actually push here so it folds in half right at my shoulder. And then I pull until it just, until it's, until it's snug. I don't want to over tighten. And then once that's good, I pull that back over her leg and then under her butt, making sure it really grabs this piece of the wrap that's making her seat. So if she decides randomly, she wants to try to pop her seat that she can't. And then I already sandwiched my tail on this side when I pulled it up onto my shoulder. So I'm just gonna stand up a little extra and make sure I have all that slack out and then go over the first leg, under the butt. And then when I get here, I like to just kind of hop up and pull the tails at the same time to like just tighten it right under her butt. So obviously my tails, can't even tell, are really, really long. So if this was a shorter wrap, like I can do it all the way to like a base minus three. I can do this in a size three. So I could just tie a knot here at my waist and be fine. But since I'm using this wrap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin one between my legs nice and tight. And then I'm going to take this side and spread it out over my chest just the one side of my chest going towards the opposite shoulder and I'm going to go over top of this strap and I take my other hand underneath the strap I think I went under my shirt and I'm going to grab it with this hand here and then pull the tail through and then pull tight we're not quite done yet and then just kind of make sure that's nice there and you can pull any extra slack through Bye through your tail here on this side to make sure this is lying flat and then you're gonna do the same thing so I kind of work it up and it makes like a leg pass so it makes it pretty unpoppable for her anyways especially with this wrap it's got a lot a, a lot of nice grip to it so it um, makes it really kind of unpoppable for her so up towards the shoulder okay and then, so I did the same thing on this side. So I pulled it up towards the opposite shoulder, went over the rug strap, and then around and down. And then I'm just going to tighten. Don't eat my hair. Stop it. Tighten. This, stop. That hurts. And that's gross. Through here. I have this random slack right here that's Mommy. not coming out very good. Mama. Yes, yeah, Sophie? Daddy. What? Daddy. Daddy? Doggy. Was it doggy? Yeah. What about your doggy? doggy. Okay. So, and this is called um, a Tibetan finish or a knotless finish. And you can just spread it out to where you like it on your chest. I actually really enjoy this carry because, or doing this finish with this carry, because it um, takes some of the weight off your shoulders. So if you have an issue with regular ruck straps, this can be really helpful because it pulls it off your shoulder and distributes some of the waist onto your chest. Um, and then you have tails left. 
Um, if you have tail a lot of tails left like this, um, you can. I just normally leave them be, but if they bother you, you can bring them to the back and like tie them off under her butt or whatever you want to do. You can just tuck them. If they're not super long, you can just tuck them through right here on the sides. Like you have this strap, you can just tuck them in there if you want to. Um, or you can tie them in a knot here. Pretty much whatever you want. You don't have to tie them. They're with this finish where you go over the strap and then down. Um, it's secure without a tie. If you go just like under the strap from the bottom, then you do need to tie them because it's not a knot. Like this makes like a half knot right here. She's trying to put my hair in me. So, yep. So that's how I do Ruck. Um, she's got a seat knee to knee, but it's not super deep, so her knees don't jab into my ribs. Um, I really focus on tightening through her butt because that's gonna keep it from getting saggy and keep her nice and high and then keep the top rail nice and snug so she's not like pulling away and I don't feel like I'm having to like compensate for her pulling me backwards. Um, she's right next to me so it makes it really comfortable for a long period of time. And yeah, see you later. Bye.